What was your fuck it, done helping others moment? <laughs> Plot pivot. I had a friend years ago who was a bit self-centered and prone to stretching the truth, but he was a nice enough guy with a rough backstory, and my friend group liked him, so I cut him a lot of slack. I like to host and I have friends staying over pretty regularly. Back then, I usually had one or two people spending the night on any given day. Anyhow, over the span of a couple of years, this guy starts abusing that. Staying over for days or even weeks at a time. Eating my food and drinking my liquor without contributing, that sort of thing. While constantly talking about his grand plans and daydreams as if they'd already happened. A little sad, but also pretty annoying after a while. Anyhow, I sit him down one day and let him know he's gotta head home and that he's free to come over and hang out, but I'm not comfortable with him staying over for the time being. He leaves, I think it went remarkably well, and head out to work. And it turns out that he broke in while I was away at work and stole a bunch of my sister's things because his birthday was coming up and neither of us even thought to get him a gift. It takes a special person to rationalize how burglarizing someone is really their fault. Anyway, all slack and sympathy went out the window immediately called the cops and he's dead to me. I was 17 and still in school. The corridors were empty as my teacher sent me out to go do her a job. So I was just walking down the corridor when this girl carrying a bunch of books bumped into me and she dropped the books, like you see in a movie. So I apologize because I wasn't really paying attention and I bend down and get the books for her and hand them to her, expecting at least a small thanks, but no. Instead, this chick had to say, I have a boyfriend, so never ever purposely bump into me just so I can talk to you. You should have walked away. As she begins to turn away, I grab her shoulder, which makes her turn around, and I knock the books out of her hand and say, now that was on purpose. And I walked away whilst she was stood there speechless. <sighs> Some of you may think that was messed up, but I don't really regret a single bit of it as she got what she deserved. One day I found a puppy, dirty, hungry, and just scared and lost. I gave him a good meal and some love, and went to drop him off at the address on his collar. The dude thanked me, then proceeded to beat the crap out of the dog, telling me to mind my own business when I tried to get him to stop. Carried him by his collar to a five feet short chain in a muddy patch with a crappy broken three wall doghouse, where I'm guessing the dog spent 100% of its time. I called the cops, but they did nothing. The dog technically had shelter which qualifies BC three walls and a roof, even if it was filled with holes and it gets 20 degrees at night here. I stole the dog three weeks later. Had a newish neighbor ask if he could borrow our lawn mower? Sure. Well, more or less every week he would come and get it out of our garage, use it to cut his grass, put it away without cleaning it or adding gas. In the fall, we mentioned it was a good time to get deals on a new mower. He never talked to us again. When I had a truck during college, everyone suddenly wanted me to help move them. Most were cool and gave me money or ordered pizza, unprompted. One time, however, some dude I barely knew needed some help. I show up and nothing is packed in his apartment. He had a giant fish tank and lived on the third floor with no elevator. It was a fucking nightmare and I never got a dime nor food or even some beers. I never talked to him after that. Should have left right then when you saw it like that. Oh, looks like you haven't packed. I'll come back tomorrow when you need help moving. When a good friend of mine that I worked under had cancer and wasn't able to pay some bills, I loaned her $200 just to help. I was only 18 at the time and felt bad because she had kids. It was right around the holidays and was I just wanted to help however I could and be a good person in life. She promised to pay me back when she could. Turns out she lied about having cancer, was stealing from the company I worked at, scammed my other co-workers, and would come in after calling out of work for her chemo to make fraudulent returns while I was overseeing the store by myself because of her calling out. Got that bitch fired and got promoted to her position after... We were asleep one night with window open. We wake up BC. There's a couple walking down the road arguing. The girl is closer than the guy. Next thing we know, the girl is banging on door begging to come in. We call police. They get there and couple gone. They tell us that's a common ruse being used in area to get you to open door so they can rob you. This is scary. Agreed. We came very close to falling for it. Now I won't help anyone. I don't care if it's someone stranded on the side of the road. That might be a ruse too. 
Maybe a dude with a gun is hiding in the back seat. I'm a teacher. A parent of a former student contacted me in an emergency situation, couldn't afford to pay bills, and needed help. She was super helpful to me in my first year teaching. So I asked friends and family to help out and raised her about $2,000. Never again. She has contacted me every few weeks since then, always with a new reason why she needs more money. And when I offer food and clothing resources, she refuses it. It has placed me in such an awkward situation, and I regret ever trying to help her out in the first place. I used to frequently stay late at work for clients who showed up to the veterinary clinic last minute with a non-emergency problem and no appointment. Then three times in a row, three different people were told up front about the after-hours fee, agreed to pay it instead of scheduling an appointment for the next day. And all of them called back the next day fussing that they shouldn't have been charged extra for keeping us 30 or 60 minutes past our scheduled hours and that we were terrible in trying to scam them by charging for our time, even though we told them up front and they had another option. It was exhausting and demoralizing. We did more than we had to for them after already working a full day because a desire to help is why we're all here in the first place. And they responded by saying our time was worth nothing and we suck. The entire staff said, fuck that. Now, unless it's a literal life and death situation, if we can't fit someone in before closing and they didn't have an appointment, it's a firm no. I'm in this profession to help others and I still work late for real emergencies when they happen or if an appointment runs longer than expected, but I'm done sacrificing my personal time for entitled people who don't actually need it. Edited to clarify, um, the people did pay, but they were calling later to complain about it and demand a refund or say the sun dump when they were canceling the transaction on their card. Instead of dealing with the headache anymore, we stopped giving non-emergency walk-ins the option of being seen after hours. No animals were harmed, and the staff and their families are all much happier. The day I realized that no one wanted to help me in return. Look, it's not about doing something for someone to get something back and I will always help whoever I can that needs it. But when the same people consistently ask for help or money or what have you, without actually wanting to help you when you need it or just hang out or be friendly in general, it's a huge red flag. I was working at a fast food place when I was a student. I usually did overtime to help everyone clean up and close the restaurant until about 1 a.m. because we were so understaffed. I guess people got used to me staying late because one night when I was supposed to finish at 11, I overheard some of my colleagues, the stereotypical mean girls, say how bad the clients had cluttered everything tonight and how it was going to be a mess to clean up. Then they say, but hey, Mia's gonna stay late tonight again, let's leave it to her. She always does the cleaning anyways, followed by laughing and some bitching about me. That night I clocked out at 11 after doing all of my tasks at the counter and left. The girls stared at me in shock, and when I was outside I saw one of them standing in the middle of the restaurant with her hand on her forehead looking at the mess she would have to clean before going home. Weirdly, after that day they started cleaning earlier without waiting for me to do everything. I live in a city where majority of homeless people are known scammers, just trying to get money for drugs. One especially hot and humid day, I was in a very generous mood, and decided to drive around and give every homeless person I saw a couple bottles of water. Every single person I handed water to either said, I don't want this damn water, I want money, or just threw it on the ground in front of me. After that, I haven't helped another homeless person in my city. Be sure to watch other cool stories on the channel, you should definitely like them. Also do not forget to subscribe to the channel. See you, bye.